In the 17th century, Paris is in chaos as people protest against the king. These protesters are sent to jail and left to starve. One of the prisoners is a mysterious person known as the Man in the Iron Mask. In the midst of this disorder, Detainian, the captain of the Miskadiers, patrols the streets. However, the angry citizens throw rocks at him because he still supports the king. The Miskadiers, who were once a close group, have gone their separate ways. Portos has become a womanizer and a drunkard, while Aramis has become a priest. Despite their different lifestyles, the two still manage to live together. Aramis is praying when Portos disturbs him, leading to an argument just as Detanian enters the room. Both are happy to see him, but he brings a message from the king. The king wants Portos and Aramis to come to him immediately. Meanwhile, Aphos, the fourth musketer, lives peacefully with his son, Roll, who wants to be a musketer like his father. Aphos entrusts Roll with his wife's ring for a marriage proposal. In France, King Louis XIV rules, and he is a strong leader who loves power and majesty. While preparing for a battle, one of his advisors, Pierre, tells him about the riots and hunger in the city. Pierre suggests distributing army food to the people. Aramis answers the king's call and arrives at the palace. The king asks Aramis to find the secret leader of the Jesuits, someone undermining loyalty to the crown, and to eliminate this threat in God's and France's name. Aramis half-heartedly accepts the mission. The king then turns to Pierre's concerns about the hungry riders and orders that rotten food be given to them. At a palace festival, Roll plans to propose to Christine Bellefort, but the king is captivated by her beauty and interrupts their moment with a game. A little pig is brought out for the guests to catch, and the winner gets a piece of jewelry. Everyone joins the game, but Christine can't because she's stuck in a garden near the fountains. King Louis is the one who turns on the fountains, hoping to talk to Christine. Christine tries to find another way out, but the king sneaks up and starts a conversation. Detanian secretly listens from a distance. The king admits he's interested in Christine, but she tells him she loves Roll and is loyal to him. The king kisses her anyway, but Detanian interrupts by pushing the pig their way. Suddenly, a spy tries to kill the king, but Detanian throws his sword and saves him. Droll rescues Christine, and they run away. Queen Anne, the king's religious mother, visits the chapel often. She thanks Detanian for saving her son's life, but he says it's just his duty. Later, Detanian learns that Roll has cancelled his request to join the Miskadiers, which makes him suspicious. He goes to Athos home, and they happily greet each other after a long time. While they're having wine, Roll enters, looking sad. He returns the engagement ring, saying he's sent back to war. Athos thinks the king did this to have Christine for himself. Roll suddenly goes to his room, and Athos gets upset about Detanian's loyalty to the greedy king. In the palace, chaos erupts as the people of Paris attack the Miskadiers for giving them rotten food. Some Miskadiers get beaten, and some seek refuge at the gates. Detanian goes out to talk to the people, but they don't listen because he's a king's officer. They throw an apple and a tomato at him, but he skillfully catches them with his sword, gaining their respect. He promises to talk to the king about the food issue. The townspeople return home calmly, and Detanian takes a hidden path to talk to the king. He suggests giving fresh food to the people and asks about Christine. King Louis responds that he's still the one in charge. After the meeting, King Louis appoints a new chief advisor and orders Pierre's execution for distributing rotten food. He also reminds them to use force against riders. The battle begins, and Roll leads the troops. He gives a letter to another officer to deliver to the royal dispatches. As he leads, a cannon fires, killing him. Christine receives a letter about Roll's death, and it brings her to tears. Aphos also gets the news and is furious, going to the palace. Titanian tries to calm Aphos, but they fight. Titanian knocks him down, begging him not to act irrationally. This strains their friendship, and Dathos calls Detanian a traitor for siding with his son's killer. In the palace, King Louis invites Christine to a romantic dinner. Despite the grand setting, she's sad after Roll's death and can't eat. The king comforts her and persuades her to be intimate with him that night. Aramis, on a secret mission from the king, gathers his former friends for a meeting. He reveals that he's the secret leader of the Jesuits and plans to depose King Louis. Aphos and Portos agree to join his plan. Titanian remains loyal to his duty to serve the king. Athos dislikes him for supporting a dishonorable king and threatens him with death if they meet again. In the palace, King Louis questions Titanian about the missing former Miskadias and whether they pose a threat to the crown. Titanian subtly defends his friends but is ordered to find them. The dilemma of loyalty to service or friendship stresses Titanian, leaving him unsure of his next steps. During a full moon, the man in the iron mask gazes at the sky, longing for freedom. The three former Miskadias sneak into the island prison in disguises. Aramis, posing as an Italian priest, carries a corpse with an iron mask to replace the prisoner. He claims the man in the iron mask is plague infected, prompting the guard to burn the body. Aramis escapes with the real man in the iron mask. They reach a safe house in the countryside and unmask the man, revealing him as King's identical twin brother, Felipe. Aphos helps Felipe, who lived on a farm before being imprisoned and masked. Two men clean him up, making him look like the king. Aramis tells Felipe about his true identity and how his mother, Queen Anne, had twins. 
King Louis XIII hid Felipe to avoid dynastic conflict, revealing it only on his deathbed. Queen Anne wanted to restore Felipe's birthright, but the king imprisoned him to keep power and hid his identity with the Iron Mask, a deed Aramis carried out. Aramis seeks forgiveness and wishes to replace King Louis with the kind of Felipe, but Bordos and Aphos find it too dangerous. Felipe has yet to respond. In the palace, King Louis gets a letter about his brother and orders his mother to be told about his twin's tragic fate. He opens a box containing the Iron Mask and is horrified, imagining what it's like to live with such a mask. The queen goes to the chapel to express her grief, and D'Artagnan comforts her. It's revealed they used to have an affair until D'Artagnan chose loyalty to the crown. In the following days, the group encourages Felipe to join their plan, but he wants to be himself and have freedom. Eventually, he agrees, wanting to work with the Miskadiers to make a better country. They teach him courtly life, combat, dressing, and acting like the king. Meanwhile, Christine lives a luxurious life with the king. She receives a letter from Roll, who predicts his death in battle and forgives her for being the king's mistress. She suspects the king orchestrated Roll's death and confronts him, but he dismisses her thoughts. Aramis goes to the palace to talk to Queen Anne, giving her hope for Felipe. Later, the palace hosts a masquerade ball where guests are elegantly dressed and dancing. Aramis, Pordos, Aphos, and Felipe disguise themselves as guests, waiting for the right moment to carry out their plan. King Louis sees a guest in an iron mask and is disturbed. He sees the iron mask held by Aramis, which makes him feel unwell. The group uses secret passages to reach the king's room quickly, where they knock him unconscious. Moments later, he regains consciousness and finds Felipe with the group. They exchange their clothes, and Portos restrains him by tying his mouth and covering his head. Nervously, Felipe goes back to the party dressed as the king. Aphos is proud and starts to feel paternal towards him. Felipe works to the throne in the ballroom and feels powerful for the first time in his life. People become suspicious as he helps a guest who tripped, revealing his good nature. Queen Anne enters the party dramatically, and Felipe sees her for the first time. They subtly express their joy at reuniting, and the queen's maid confirms that Felipe is alive. Titanian senses something is wrong, checks the king's room, and returns to the ballroom. Suddenly, Christine disrupts the party, accusing the king of being responsible for Roll's death. Instead of punishing her, the king forgives and promises to make compensation. Titanian becomes suspicious and orders the palace muscadiers to be on high alert. He instructs Felipe to follow him to the underground dock despite Felipe's unwillingness. Meanwhile, the three muscadiers head to the port where their boat is waiting. Palace muscadiers attack them, but they manage to defeat them. However, the gate closes, leaving them and their boat behind. Titanian's group is outnumbered by the palace muscadiers. They reflect on their friendship. Aphos holds King Louis and reveals that he has a twin. They decide to trade for the brothers' lives, but Felipe is recaptured on their escape. As the three muscadiers sail away, Felipe's life is in danger once more. Inside the palace, King Louis realizes that the man before him is not an imposter but his twin. The queen embraces Felipe, making King Louis jealous. He hits Felipe, but D'Artagnan pleads for mercy. Felipe asks to be executed rather than sent back to prison. King Louis, fueled by anger, sends Felipe back to prison with the Iron Mask. D'Artagnan comforts the distraught Queen Anne, and they hear a faint scream. They find out that Christine has tragically taken her life, which angers the king even more. Meanwhile, Felipe is taken to his cell, and they put the Iron Mask on him again. The key to the mask is given to King Louis to keep his twin imprisoned. In the middle of the town's chaos, the three muscadiers discover a letter from D'Artagnan, guiding them to Felipe's location. Aphos, Pordos, and Aramis wear their old muscadier uniforms with D'Artagnan's help, infiltrate the prison, and rescue Felipe. D'Artagnan reunites with them to make amends. However, King Louis sets an ambush to capture the group who are trying to end his reign. The four muscadiers fight alongside each other as the king's guards charge at them, skillfully defending themselves despite being outnumbered. More soldiers arrive to surround and attack them, but they refuse to surrender. Felipe suggests they give him up to save their lives, but D'Artagnan reveals that Felipe and Louis are his sons. Having had an affair with Queen Anne, she bought wins, and he served Louis out of fatherly devotion despite his evilness. All of them are shocked by this revelation, strengthening their determination to fight back. Ready to face their fate, they unite, saying, all for one, and one for all. Felipe joins them, and they prepare for battle. The palace muscadiers aim their guns at them to protect their king. The five men launch a final attack on Louis's front line, astonishing the soldiers with their bravery. Louis orders them to fire, but when the smoke clears, they realize that all the bullets missed. The musketeers express their respect for the former ones. King Louis attempts to attack Felipe with a dagger, but D'Artagnan intervenes and gets stabbed. Felipe knocks Louis down and begins to strangle him, but D'Artagnan reminds him that Louis is his brother and recites the musketer phrase one last time. A grieving Felipe switches clothes with Louis and locks him into the Iron Mask. Felipe declares Aphos, Portos, and Aramis as his royal advisors, and, as a king, he commands the guards to imprison Louis forever. The Muscadiers kneel before Felipe, honoring him as their true king. At daybreak, they attend Detanian's funeral to bid their final farewells peacefully. After the funeral, Felipe asks Aphos to love him like a son, and Aphos accepts, kissing Felipe's hand. 
The three musketeers work past a line of proud saluting musketeers who idolize them. With a better king, France is reborn, providing its people with food, prosperity, and peace. What did you guys think of this movie? Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.